and welcome to Little Workroom Crafts episode 9. I'm Davina and I live in the southeast coast of the UK. Today is Sunday the 17th of November 2019. First of all I would like to thank all my subscribers, my ones that have actually supported me right from the beginning and the one, the new ones that have come along since I've started and my and um, since my last episode. So thank you very much. I do appreciate it. Now I've got quite a lot to talk about today um, because there's been quite a lot going on. So um, I've got a lot to show you. And uh, first of all, I think I'm just going to jump right in. And as you know, I do like to keep my um, my videos quite short-ish. And uh, so, you know, let's jump right in, shall we? So this um, episode, we've got a little bit of knitting, uh, some cross-stitch and some um something i'm going to do in dressmaking i'm going to show you what i'm going to uh, the fabrics in it and the pattern first and i have got a lot of things i craft related things i have found in the cherry shop okay so let's get in there so first of all i would like to show you my um the progress i have done with my katie green from the katie green uh, katie bing podcast um the cardigan that i'm knitting unfortunately it's had to be put aside uh, for a little while because i'm as you know i'm busy making my christmas gifts so um first of all um I i'm going to show you what i've done so far and i'm just itching to get back to it so hopefully it won't be too long before the gifts are all finished but first of all it is this yarn and the pattern i did get uh, from yarn dale as i have told you in, in previous um episode but uh the color i love and the yarn i really love um this is the back i have actually done the back it's knitting up lovely it really is and it does feel even though it's a real wool and it feels quite rust it looks quite rustic it feels lovely and soft and also i have done this much on the first front so i think i have actually already yeah i have i've already started the increase for the um uh, the v that goes up the yarn i have um using is raf um mill yarns saddleworth and that's all that's got written on the um on the ball band i'm afraid it hasn't even got oh shade marsh that's it and this is Katie's pattern. I love her patterns. They're, they're literally little booklets. And they're just lovely to sit and look at, even if you're not <laughs> doing any knitting. They're just so, so sweet to sit and look at. I'm leaving the two, the colour work and the pockets till last. Um, because that's like the exciting bit. So I'll get the, um, the other bits out uh, all done. And then, you know, there's something to look forward to on the end. As I've said before, I haven't actually knitted a, um, a pieced um, garment for a long, long time. So I'm assuming if anybody has got any advice I'd like to put in, in down below, I'm assuming that I actually um, will block the pieces separately and then lay them, you know, soak them, lay them out and then put the band on. Um so if anybody's got any advice on that that would be nice is it done that way or or not I'm, I'm thinking it is because obviously they are rolled quite a bit so i'm thinking that the um you know you would uh, block them out flat and then sew them together to to then put your band on and and put the pockets on and so on so yeah that would be very grateful and um, also um i have already done something um, for Rebecca but I can't show you because I'm sure if I turned around and said don't look she will look <laughs> so <laughs> but she does know about this so I thought I would show you um she has asked for a a sock head hat now I have actually knitted one of these a long time ago this is a free pattern on Ravelry and uh, it is fun a fun um, hat to knit it really is and as it says it's done in sock yarn um and it is really warm say mine I, I love wearing mine but the thing is the darling daughter bless her heart she's asked for black <laughs> this time of year but i will say it has been fun to knit i have actually chosen to do it in um the west yorkshire spinners which i think is called liquish i think is the name of this one 
but um it's actually um it's just got zero six i think i think and that's a dye lot though yeah i'm sure it's liquish it's called um the west yorkshire spinners um so but as i say it's it's you know i sat there doing some knitting once um on it last night but once you get because the rib is quite long so once you get the rib done it's um it just flies by really but it's an easy knit you know something to take around with you in your handbag so also so they're my work in progress um also i have um i'm going to make another um the dress shirt the pattern is merchant and mills as you know i did make the the little blue one to go to the alley pally this one i'm going to shorten make it just about a half about an inch to an inch and a half shorter but everything else i'm keeping the same because i absolutely love um, the fit of it it's supposed to be oversized and also i'm going to put the pockets in because i do like pockets but <laughs> all the fabrics i don't know why i do this to myself this has all been washed and ready to go um i have chosen to make it in this now mm, it is oh that's a bit better actually mm. yeah it's a navy and a, and a rust um fabric but the, the checks why do i do this i don't know but when it comes to doing the um the merchant and mills you've actually got the bib inside is all um lined and because this is a heavier fabric, they do actually suggest to use a lighter fabric for the lining. So I got the, this fabric from work and um, I just got some poly cotton um, in, in the brownie cut, rusty colour to do the lining in the inside and across the back of the yoke and also to make my pockets. So, yeah, I'm actually looking forward to that because the pattern's already traced out and I've just got... A, get ready and cut it out it's it's the cutting out that i <laughs> i keep putting off for some reason i don't know why right then also i have actually got a work in progress of the cross stitch so i have made myself a smaller project bag and inside here i will take it out through the window i think i kind of made a mistake and did it the wrong way round. but there you go we all do these things. I've actually bought um, Annie Downs um, winter fabric inside. Now, the one I'm actually started is uh, Little House Needleworks, and it's called the Winter Warm Warm Winter Woolies. And as you can see, it's got a little sheep on it because you know what I'm like for my little sheep. And I am really, really enjoying making this at the moment. Just excuse my needle holder. I have I'm on his I've done the front part here and I'm on the back part here and I'm just using the fabric that I had left over from the other one which I'll show you which is already which is all completely finished um which I'll show you in a moment um I have actually really enjoyed um uh, I'm really enjoying this at the moment I will say I have a little um a little bit of a gadget now these they come in packets of three and they are actually for what you bought around your bobbins for a sewing machine to stop the threads from coming undone so um i've seen somebody else on on online using these for this job and what i do is i um i put my uh ada into my hoop and obviously you have bits around the outside so you roll them up and then you clip these on and they then they're, they're really light um lightweight and they work brilliantly absolutely brilliantly and very uh, clever little gadget actually i do I, I do use them all the time so would recommend getting some of those so then that's all my work in progress yes right then so now it comes to the finishers now i have quite a lot of finishers and i have some christmas presents but i know they're from they're they're for debbie at work and she keeps telling me she don't watch so i hope she doesn't so let's start with her bits first and i i will be explaining how i did one of them now this one here is 
I don't know if she'll hang it up in her in her living room or I mean her kitchen or her workroom. It's like a little sampler, and she loved birds, so I thought I would do that. This little um uh star is basically something I picked up yet again in a charity shop, and I sanded it down and painted it all up like I did my Santa. And I'm really pleased with the way it turned out, and I think she will really like that. Also, as well, because obviously you know you've seen her socks that I did a few um, few weeks ago, I have made her this. Now, this will be, I reckon, for her workroom. The cotton reel I got from work. Bear with me one moment. It started off like this, plain cotton reel, and I painted it up and um put a bit of felt on the bottom so it doesn't mark any of her surfaces um glenn helped me put some ribbon around there around it glue around there and he also helped me put a, a hook on there for her scissors and then i made a little pin cushion for the top now when i did the pin cushion because i don't always like when you do something like this round you know you have to leave a gap and but you always manage to see the stitching so what i did is i actually um there's on Floss Tube, there's uh, Hands On Designs, which is, as you know, one of my favourite designers in cross stitch. Because Kathy, Kathy, oh, I can't remember her last name. Anyway, she actually does a tutorial on how she finish off her cushions, square ones, and I thought well, it's got to work with the with rounds as well, which it did. So I just got two charm packs, and I got I've got a, some round um, template um pre-cut plastics that i bought years ago for quilting and i drew round pinned them together and i sewed all the way round and then on the the bottom one which is the darker one here you put a slit and then you pull it through just like you would with um like with some some things that we do with the plique but and then you stuff it and then you get a piece that's so clever you get like um a little square and some bondo web and you obviously cut it all down to the, the little square you want so you're sealing the edges and then even though this is stuffed you put it on your ironing board lay the um, piece of fabric with the bond web on and put it on top and just lightly press it until it fixes and then you see all the way around you've got a perfect edge there's nowhere where you've got a stitch it's all underneath in the back and because this obviously was going to go on the cotton reel anyway um it's <laughs> It's basically so much easier than having to hand stitch up the join. And then after I've, I did the back part, I just got some um, DMC threads, the six strands, and did the, the wrap overs like you would coming up the middle and then sewed a button on the top. So, and that is, and then obviously she's got a little scissor holder there. And yeah, so that will go with there and a pair of socks that's already been knitted and there's a little something that I always get every year so now we have the big one <laughs> if you look on my Instagram page there is a before and after of this board now this board I did get from as as I've done before the local um pound um shop and this is how my piece finished let me see if i can come back a bit so you can see the whole thing so stitch every day i did the bow with the um the bow maker that i got from the alley pally uh the piece in here also came from the um oh oh damn <laughs> i didn't need to do that <laughs> oh well i'll have to glue that on yeah which i got from the pound shop oh dear and the leaves, bag of leaves, I got from what we've got over here in the UK called the Works. So, and the stitching, I just did uh, the, let's get that rid of that, that's better. I did uh, put a bit of wadding under that, and that's on the mount board. And then these two, I just um, uh, craft cotton on wrapped around mount board. But I'm so pleased with it. So, so pleased. And obviously I sanded, Oh, sanded down the board um painted it all up and made it a little bit look, look a bit more rustic like i like and it's fun to do and uh yeah so uh, i'm really pleased with that i don't know where i'm gonna put it yet because i didn't 
I knew it was going to be big, but I didn't know how big it was actually going to end up. <laughs> but there you go. Right then. Also, I'd like to say on a Friday, um, about three, three, with three, four weeks ago, um, I um, there was a, a group that started it in in our local town, and it's nine thirty to one thirty. And it's any craft; it doesn't matter what you do. You just come along and you sit in this beautiful hall, and um, you pay two pound and you get tea, biscuits, cake, and all things like that. And you get to meet some lovely people. I've been for the past two weeks, and I have thoroughly enjoyed it. And I look forward to it on a Friday. You know, it's just something to um, you know end the week with really you know me and some really nice friends I've met some new friends in the town that I you know I didn't know that were crafters and so on and um I have taken a couple of photographs of the first week I was there and uh, yes I would like to insert them here Welcome back. So hopefully you enjoyed the pictures and I think there was a little video as well where when I got out the car because I parked up on the seafront and there was men fishing off on the sea and beautiful day it was. But mind you that was the first week. Last week it was really really miserable. So now here we go over to the last segment which is what I have found in craft related in um, in the local charity shops. Well I have been very lucky. Very very lucky. Uh, I have got quite a bit and even yesterday when I went to visit my daughter um, for the day which we had a lovely time we went all around the charity shops in her little town and um, I got some bits there too so um, let's start first of all I got this lovely box um, frame which was £1.50 and I am going to paint it all up like I do and my little sheep cross stitch that I'm doing at the moment is going to be bordered all up and go because there's no no I don't think there's glass in it anyway anyway but even if there is glass in it I'm going to take it out because I don't want it glassed and there'll be some board with fabric and then there'll be the sheep as I say and I've got the paint already the colours so when that's all finished um, I will definitely be showing you so that's number one I also got um, some pieces of Ada because I'm interested as you know I've mentioned before that I do um, dye some yarns because I have I did do Debbie socks with my dyed yarn and I'm thinking of trying to dye some Ada and seeing how that turns out so I thought well if I get these pieces uh very reasonable I, these were two pound for the lot and this is a really big piece as well so I um yeah I'm gonna have a go with those and have a practice and see what I can do there so that's number two. Number three, now this is beautiful. I think I'm going to make some pyjamas or something with this. Um, this is, um, it's a cotton, definitely a cotton. And it's massive big piece, massive piece. And I got this for £2.50. And I think pyjamas actually would, would be really nice, especially ones with like little shorts and a little thing for the summer because that'll be really nice and cool number three my gosh this i picked up i leave the prices on to remind me what i what i paid because i've got so many this time this is very clever even though i got my magnifying um lamp that you see um last time um this is for to go around your neck so it goes round like that and then you adjust it all to how you want it and then you sit like that and basically you've got a magnifier so um, and that cost me two pound which I think was it's very handy very very handy for um even when you do when I do me embroidery or me appliques or anything like that especially when I'm you know going to club and, and things it's it's very very handy right and this week on Friday 
I went into the one down into the town and I got all these beautiful ribbons, 50 pence each, not even been opened. So there's nine there. So they are definitely going to be coming in handy for different jobs. And yesterday, it's to say while I was out with my daughter, because <laughs> we both love going charity shop shopping, I got all of these DMC threads. I know there's a lot of white there, but you can never, ever have enough white. And they're at 20 pence each. You just can't, com can't complain at that at all. And it goes all goes to a good course. So 20 pence each. And then also she saw this pattern. And I, I must admit, I didn't even look inside. I normally do. Yeah, no, it's not even been um, touched at all. And she would like me, so I bought this for her because she'd like me to make her this dress for the summer. And it was a pound. So a new look are good. I do like new look. So, yeah, and that would really suit her because she is very petite. I will pop a photograph in, actually, of um, what we took yesterday um, while we were out because we went to Costa and we had a, <laughs> oh, I had a massive... Uh, hot chocolate with a chocolate cookie it was chocolate overload and she had a bacon roll and her uh, coffees and it was really a beautiful day and I had so much fun and we're definitely going to be meeting up again um before Christmas definitely and uh, so I say hi Rebecca love you and um looking forward to seeing you soon so I will be popping a little uh, photograph in here so you can just see what fun we had. Oh, we also went to the little pub and had a lunch. So, yeah, I will be popping just a little video in, a, a little photograph in of what we did. So, enjoy. Okay, then. Well, hope you enjoyed the little, um, the, just a, a little uh, photograph of me and my daughter. And um, yeah, so I think that's everything now. So yes, it is. So I would love to say, um, hope you've enjoyed what I've um, showed you. And I will be back in a couple of three weeks as normal. And please like and subscribe. Hit the, the, the like button down and subscribe. If you do, you know, would like to be, um, like to come back. And also the bell, if you'd like to be notified when I do my next ones. So I hope you're all having a lovely, well, autumn and time, you know, hope the weather and everything is fine for you and I will be seeing you soon. So take care. Happy crafting. Bye.